also means sending missionaries from this church like Antioch sent Paul. I believe that the Lord can and will and maybe is right now burying the heart of young people and middle-aged people and maybe even older people to go into the ministry to prepare to preach the gospel to be a missionary to be preachers to give your life Lord I'll do anything for you the gospel is too sweet not to be followed do you know that's how God worked on my heart Dr. Bob III at Bible conference was preaching a message. And I'll tell you what, I think I slept through the whole thing, except I woke up at the point where he nailed the passage and he says, let me tell you, if this is such a great thing, what right have we not to minister the gospel? Give our lives for the Lord. The Holy Spirit came down and squeezed my heart. I thought I was going to be popped like a grape. And I felt so compelled to give my life to say, Lord, I don't care whatever comes of it. I will be a preacher for you. And I walked that aisle, gave my life that night to, give a, to preach the gospel of Jesus Christ. And that was about, that was about a, a long time ago. <laughs> that was about 25, 26, 27 years ago. I didn't look back. And God is, God may be calling you tonight to give your life for the gospel, to be a preacher or missionary. Say yes. Prepare and do it. Never turn back. We are to send, Lighthouse, our church is to send people to be gospel herald, heralds and let us pray the Lord of the harvest would do just that if I were to announce tonight that we were closing all missions and soul winnings pro programs in this church there would be a public outcry men would immediately run for the wood and erect a gallows out in the parking lot for me <laughs> whoever said amen would run for the spray can and write Ichabod across the front door and so should they. And yet some of them would be the very same ones who never give the gospel and never come soul winning in this church. And there it comes around. And I really said it. It's not enough for you to stand for soul winning. You've got to do it. You've got to give the gospel. The message is too sweet not to be repeated. It has done too much for you. You are not in a gutter. You are not in your sin. You are not on your way to hell. God in his great grace through Jesus Christ has reached out and plucked you out of the fires of hell. How sweet it is. I must tell someone. Perhaps you were saved at a church or heard from Christian parents the gospel. Listen, the people in Newark and Elkton and Newcastle and your neighborhood, they don't have Christian parents to tell them. They don't have heralds like that. They don't have a Bible preaching pastor that comes over to their house or that they go and hear. They don't have it like I did. They don't have anyone but you. You're the only person they have to tell them the gospel. About 1986 at a Ron Comfort crusade, Ron Comfort's a little guy. He's the founder of Ambassador Baptist College, and he preaches his heart out. I'd like to have him here someday. At a church-wide crusade, Fairmont State University, thousands of people there. Probably the last time that ever happened, a bunch of Baptist churches getting together. He preached a message on soul winning that was similar to this. And in the end, the Lord worked on my heart as he did scores and scores of Christians that night. 23 years ago, I made the commitment to be a soul winner that has kept me on track. That promise to God, that vow to God. 
that has kept me going door to door and giving out tracts, witnessing to businessmen and cashiers and strangers and neighbors, commitment to the Lord to answer the call of this passage. I wasn't a pastor then. I was a snot-nosed sophomore in high school. Just like the young people here tonight. Didn't have to answer. Didn't have to commit myself. Didn't matter what age you were and are. How shall they hear without a herald, without a preacher? Tonight I want to give you the same opportunity of commitment. My heart is especially burdened for our young people to start out right. To start out, young people, do you realize maybe it is you that need to lead a soul winning revival in this church? I give the commitment to everybody here tonight. The opportunity that you will go and commit yourself to be a herald and you will leave the results to him. That you will give the gospel. And if you give the gospel of Romans chapter 10, some will call upon him. And all who call upon him, they will be saved. They will be saved. Would you stand, please, with your heads bowed tonight?